Good afternoon to you viewers, this is the Colonel speaking to you live from the stable yard of the Grange for British Imperial YouTube Broadcasting. And what loads of old tabs have I got for you today? Well, the day after the Grand Gramophone Congress, I've got this for you. Where's the handle, viewers? Well, it ain't got one. Yes, it's, a, it's a electric, viewers. It uses electricery. And it's also American. Oh my goodness, I hear you cry. It's called a Liberty Phone. And it was retailed by the Liberty Music Shops, New York City. Uh, this is circa 1935, so it's one of the very first portable radiograms. This funny old tray comes out. There's the record deck. It's ACDC because the original owner, uh, Lady Carnarvon apparently, um, used it in America, on board ship and back in England, so it had to be dual standard. Right, this has just come back to me after 18 months. It's been restored by Philip Knighton, the wonderful chap from uh, Somerset. And I do advise you viewers do not touch early equipment like this and do not plug it in without it being restored or at least looked at by an expert. He is an expert, or the expert. And let's see what it sounds like. Well, a chance to hear a series from Down Under. When Spitting Image came to an end in the 1990s, Roger Moore decided to make a fresh... Let's see you go through the tuning. Got magic eye tuning apparently, whatever that is. I'm a celebrity. Get me into here. Immigration has always been an idea. Right, and then you switch to the phono as it says on the switch. Close that, in fact that pushes in, that little tray. Now here we go. Now the thing I'm here to, to demonstrate for you viewers, we'll switch on the turntable. There we go. Is the auto changer which is most peculiar. See that funny little arm there? Watch what it does. Unfortunately the crystal pickup hasn't been restored on this and possibly um, I'm, I'm, I'm working on that one. Let's put it that one viewers. We're gonna and eventually I'll do a video showing it actually working. Now here's how the auto changer works. Watch carefully. Right, did you see that? <laughs> the squire and I when I first got this thought that was hilarious. Here we go. Here we go. Now it does that for nine records. We'll do a few more for a bit of a joke. So you, with nine records you get half an hour of music from an average ten inch record. It will do twelve inch records but singly. Now, let's see if it do it for the last one. No, it won't pick up. That needs slight adjustment viewers. Now, You've played your nine records, you've got half an hour of music from this thing, continuous music. Then what you do is you take this funny old tray, turn it upside down, move the arm out of the way the right way, push down on the release clips, oh, which didn't quite then, typical with me viewers. Anyway, when there are nine records in there it works far better. And so it then plays through the other sides of those nine records. And chucks them in there when it's when it's finished. So you get almost an hour of continuous music with just pushing that. Uh, that thing over. There we go. Need using really viewers. A lot of these things do, but as I say, I warn you, only when they've been seen to. Let's see if it'll work better this time. That's better. Yes, it works better with nine records, I'm afraid, viewers. Although I have nine records, I don't fancy doing that to them, really. <laughs> Here we go. Well, it's nearly there, but of course I'm doing this not on the, on the level or on the square, viewers. I find auto changers endlessly fascinating with the ingenuity of how they change the records. But this one is so compact and wonderful for playing, as I say, so much music. Let's see if it do the last one. No, it's not quite picking up. I must adjust that, viewers. Anyway, I hope that has been instructive. And then you go back to radio again, then. There we are. So if you get fed up with the music, you could have a sort of uh, dance band wireless program on. Anyway, hope that's been instructive. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you and goodbye.